For this project, you'll be needing some velvet fabric for any scrap that you have at home, a bit of chain as an embellishment, scissors, thread, and your odd one, a headband, and of course, your sewing machine. First, you want to cut out three rectangles of fabric from your fabric, and for mine, I have it in different sizes. The first is by 9 inches by 7 inches, the second is 10 inches by 8 inches, and lastly, it is 12 by 12 inches by 9 inches. Why do I have it? Is to create different layers for my elbow, the three layer elbow I'm about to create. Now I'm going to stitch around my rectangles, cut a little slip at the back of one of the rectangles, and turn it over. This way I have the front part of the fabric now showing up to show the beauty of the fabric. Once I'm done with turning over the three sides, I pick up a little needle to make sure that all the squared edges, all the edges are picked out to give it that lip, to give it that perfect peck at each end. Then I layer it on each other size by size before I find the midpoint to tie my bow. At this point, if you're yet to follow my channel, Tailor Made DIY, kindly hit the subscribe button click on the like icon and make a comment to show others that this is really a good video for them to watch now that i have my three pieces in place i find a midpoint before i tie my knots around the fold to create my perfect bow in creating this perfect bow you must remember that you have to arrange it in three layers. There must be three layered different sizes to create your three layered bow. And you can actually use any fabric. The goal is to use the scrap that you have at home to create things that you can use as gifts to make extra money to give to your customers at every point in time when they make a dress with you or to show thank you to them to appreciate them. Now, my folds are in place. I tie my knots around. The three layered fold to bring out the perfectness of the bow. <laughs> yes, that's the word, the perfectness of the bow. And you, as you can see, I'm tying it securely to make sure that none of the fold, none of this bow moves about. Now that I'm done tying my bow, I nip it off. The next thing I want to do is create the headband that I'm going to attach my bows to. Yes, creating the headband to attach my bows is the next step. But as you can see, I'm, I'm pulling out the fold on the bow so that everything falls into place. Can you see it's so beautiful? Now, for creating the headband cover. And so I have my strip as I've measured around the headband. I have it out. I'm sewing it down so that I can wear the headband into the strip. Once I'm done sewing the strip of cover, I will turn it over. I use a little pin to turn it over before I wear it on the headband. Can you see? Good. So I put my headband into it right now. I make sure that it is tight and secured. And how do I tighten and secure it? I use my hot fix glue, the hot gun. After I must have nipped out all the excess fabric on the headband, then I secure it tightly with the hot glue to make sure that everything is in place. But before I do that, because I'm using velvet, I stretch out the fabric on the headband so that it will be taut, it will be tight on it before securing it with the hot glue. Once we're done securing it, the next thing is just to attach the three layered bow to the headband. This is one of the simplest part of it. And this project can be done in the space of between 10 to 15 minutes of your time. You will find out that it is a good thing to do. Now we are attaching the bows to the headband. And what I find the perfect position, I want my bow to stand on the headband. I put it 
a little bit of the old gun and I attach it to the bone. I hold on to it for a second or two to make sure that the glue is stuck to the bow before covering it up with another strip of fabric to make sure that everything comes out neat at every point. You must consider the neatness of the whatever craft you are making. Can you see? So beautiful. If this way it is standing on its own. But then we like a little bit of embellishment and for this I have a little bit of chain beaded chain that i'm going to attach to the bow as you can see i've put my old glue and i've attached the chain beaded chain around the bow yes i'm holding on to it for a second or two to make sure that everything is rightly well glued in place once we're done with that can you see that's on that way I want to add a bit of bead to each of each side of the bow to give it another pop to make it more beautiful. So in either way, whether with, with the embellishment or without the embellishment, the bow is beautiful. But with embellishment, it makes it stand out, it makes it unique, it makes customers want to buy from it. And so you see, I'm affixing each of the balls, the pearl balls on the by using my hot fix to grow it in place. Wow, this is so beautiful. So if you're yet to follow my channel, click on the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a good comment for others to follow. Would you just love to do this beautiful? Wow. And until my next video, stay tuned and share.